There are fears the government won't meet its carbon reduction targets, part of commitments made in the run-up to the UN climate conference in Glasgow two years ago. It comes as the government unveils details of its climate strategy, showing how the UK will meet its goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions to net zero by 2050. That strategy suggests the government will only make progress towards its promised targets. Here's our climate editor, Justin Rowlatt. The Secretary of State for Energy, Security and Net Zero was channeling his inner Churchill when he announced his new plan. Today, with Putin weaponizing energy across Europe, our energy security has become critical. The plan gives more detail on how the government will cut emissions after it lost a legal challenge by activists last summer. It was Grant Shapps who decided to locate it to a World War II bunker and rebrand it as a battle for the country's energy security. I think it's the flip side of the same coin. So as you get to more renewables, including nuclear, uh, you actually do decarbonise the, uh, the, the whole energy economy. So it's really two parts of the same thing. The problem is the new report does not make clear whether the UK will meet the targets for carbon reductions. It set itself before the global climate meeting in Glasgow back in 2020. There are some weasel words. They don't say they're going to meet the target they set out with great fanfare at COP26. They said they were going to cut their emissions, uh, UK emissions, by 68% by 2030 compared to 1990. All the document can say is they'll make some progress towards it. The government told the BBC today it fully expects to meet the commitments it made to the UN to cut carbon. So what's in this new report? The focus will be boosting renewable energy, mostly offshore wind and solar power. But there'll also be more of this, nuclear power. Mr Schapp says he wants a quarter of Britain's electricity to come from atomic energy in future. And there'll also be an effort to boost hydrogen production and technologies to capture and permanently store carbon dioxide emissions underground. There'll be some new money for electric vehicle charges and to boost the heat pump industry in the UK. And the government says it will expand the effort to insulate drafty homes. The Green Party claimed today there were very few new policies in the document. Well, the greenest thing about this document is the fact that it is full of recycled ideas, sometimes from literally years ago. Uh, this is a, a document that completely fails to rise to the challenge of this moment. Mr Shapps claims his new plan will drive down emissions as well as cutting electricity prices and ensuring the UK isn't dependent on autocrats like President Putin for its energy. But don't hold your breath. He admits it will take a while before the new measures lower our bills. Justin Rowlatt, BBC News, Uxbridge.